Hey everybody, Joel Hans here, and today I'm in beautiful British Columbia, specifically Vancouver, here at The Five Point, which is like a super cool restaurant bar here with my good friend Mr. Scott. Hey Scott eats if you don't know him. Now you do. So here we're doing eat some tacos. I believe it's 20 tacos, 20 minutes. It'll be a fun challenge. These tacos look legit, like super, super cool. So I'm ready. I'm not even gonna ask Scott what's up because I know he's starving, so let's have some fun, let's eat some food. Hi everybody, here I'm with the challenge. Um, so, kind of, the light, light's starting to get a little wonky, so we may be a little overexposed, a little underexposed, but anyway, here are 20 delicious looking tacos. Um, we got prawns, we got chorizo, we got carne asada, we got uh, pulled pork as well. So, 20 minutes eating these 20 tacos. They give us some lovely looking fresh made guacamole. We also have some habanero salsa, some jalapeno salsa. Um, so I'm gonna put some guacamole on my tacos and then we're gonna get started. It looks delicious, I'm ready, Scott's ready, and uh, let's eat. Scott, you got your timer? I got my timer? Of course he does, he always does. Yeah. So with that, let's uh, get a countdown. Right, Scott, what do you say we start at the count of five? Four, three, two, one. Enjoy. That prawn is delicious. Very, very delicious. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we're at Five Points in Vancouver, British Columbia. Always so fun to be back in Vancouver, be back on the west coast of Canada. Uh, it is very beautiful out there and I definitely would recommend the scenery in all different regards if you ever get out there, the opportunity to get out there. So it was a beautiful sunny day and we decided to eat it outside. Um, when we arrived, the lighting was perfect. We had been fully shaded, but as the sun started to set, you can see that the sun was very visible on my food and kind of overexposed it a little bit. That being said, you'll be able to see Scott's uh, dish a little bit better. And of course, hopefully you saw what they looked like at the beginning. So there's uh, four different types of tacos. We had the beef, which is the carne asada. Um, we had the uh, pulled pork. We had the chorizo. And then we had the shrimp or the prawns which I will say, absolutely delicious. Definitely, in my opinion, uh, the best tasting one that we had um, that day. So the tacos are generally served like, just basically the meat on them. They're like a street taco, like a Mexican style street taco. Um, they do have the corn tortillas, which they actually get, I guess, from like a local bakery or like a local place. They're, they're made locally nonetheless. Um, so, you know, for those who are very much a support of local, you can definitely get some corn tortillas, I guess, in the Vancouver area. And or if you go here, you know that you are getting a corn tortilla, which was made at a local uh, establishment. Can I have some chorizo? Nice and spicy. So we had 20 minutes to eat the 20 tacos, um, and they were all a, a pretty good size, to be honest. Um, definitely a, a substantial amount of meat on them. Now there wasn't any like salsas or anything like that on them. I think they might you know maybe put some cilantro, or maybe some onions on top, kind of as a garnish. Um, but for the salsas, they only really had like a habanero salsa, like it was a very spicy. Um, and I think maybe they also had a jalapeno. But regardless, like the salsas, we didn't use too much of it because they were very spicy. Um, not like a comfortable level, but we definitely wanted to add some moisture on the uh, tacos as much as possible. It does have a nice little kick to it. Get a really strong cured sausage flavor. We did have some lovely uh, house-made guac, which was great, and we definitely used that. Um, but definitely a little bit of moisture, uh, more moisture would have made these tacos a little easier to eat. Um, even with the bit of salsa and guac we did use, uh, I feel the corn tortillas were, um, and because they were also double wrapped, they were very uh, hard to eat uh, quickly. Um, definitely required quite a bit of chewing. Uh, and that probably was partly in due to, you know, like from the time they were on the grill. I'm sure when they were warm, they were fantastic, but we had to like set up our cameras and blah, 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 wait for the uh, food to cool off a little bit. So by the time we got to the corn tortillas, they were a little tougher. Um, and a little bit of more moisture would have definitely helped in that regard. I think that was probably the main difficulty of this challenge, not to mention that, I mean, 20 tacos for the average individual, this is probably about five pounds of food. 
is quite a bit, especially only in 20 minutes. Uh, so it was definitely not the easiest taco challenge I've ever done by any means. And uh, it was, well, I haven't done many taco challenges, but this could be up there with one of the hardest ones. So we're just about four minutes in. It's so good, even all the wasps want it. But it's, it's really tasty, very flavorful. We really like the flavor, the sauce are nice as well. But besides that, I'm thinking everything's pretty straightforward. Again, just eat the tacos and the amount of time given. Uh, me and Scott, if you're not familiar with Scott, Scott is a British Columbia based uh, fellow Canadian eater. Um, great guy. So yeah, we we're excited to kind of, you know, try some tacos. Uh, definitely, you know, you're welcome to come down to this spot and try some tacos of your own. I um, very much like enjoyed the patio. When, when we were here, it just seemed like the perfect kind of summer's day uh, to be out on a patio. And as it was, you know, relatively, you know, I mean, the, the current situation going on globally, um, you could tell people were very excited to be able to just get outside, uh, enjoy the outdoors, enjoy some of the scenery and enjoy some of that warm weather. Um, you know, with all our uh, safety precautions that were in place. But that, everybody, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. Definitely, if you want some pretty cool tacos, you can check out Five Points. And uh, that, yeah, enjoy. And hopefully we can get a few wins. Okay guys, we're just over seven minutes in. Joe's kicking ass, Joel's kicking ass again. He's got about four tacos left. I got about seven left here. They're so good, I'm enjoying them. So I'm sure Joel is too. So very much. Good flavors. Seven and a half minutes in. Me and Scott are both finishing up. Saving some of those prawn ones for last. Those things are great, man. The prawns are on fire. Mm -hmm.
That is hot. Hot. Extra protein. Extra protein. Yeah. They like it as much as I do. Delicious. So about 10 minutes, 40 seconds or so. Very delicious, love that prawn one. Lots of really nice flavors. Chorizo is great as well. Scott's just down to basically one taco. He's killing it. I'm a boat, killed it. I cut the side of my mouth. Scott just finished up. Congratulations, Scott. Good job, my dude. Thank you. Thank you. Some delicious tacos. Thank you. Thank you. So, everybody, huge thanks to everybody at. Look at this lighting, crazy. Yeah. Huge thanks to everybody here at The Five Point. Really cool spot. Great location. Love this little bar patio thing they got going on. The light shifted. The light was perfect when we started it out. It's a little wonky. But food was great. Definitely like the tacos. Scott, what'd you think of them? Yeah, it was really good, really tasty. We had some nice tangy, yeah. we had some uh, spicy, so we had a... Those prom ones though, dude. Oh yeah, those were dynamite. Those are yeah. fire. So definitely would recommend, thanks for coming by, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. that, until next time, say happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating, and you know what to do. Go do what we do. <laughs>